retinoids are the gold standard of anti-aging, but what if you could achieve similar results just from what you eat. In this video, we're comparing retinoids to food based on real research to see which has the biggest impact on your wrinkles. We'll cover what retinoids can actually do for your skin, the foods or nutrients that have a comparable effect, and what this means for your skincare routine and your diet. And honestly, I think some of this is going to astonish you. A quick hello if you're new here. My name is Fiona and I'm a registered nutritionist with a master's degree in nutritional medicine. On this channel, we talk about how skincare starts on your plate. So if that interests you, stick around, subscribe, and maybe even check out my evidence-based skincare guides. So let's start with the first question. What can retinoids do? Retinoids are forms of vitamin A in skincare and they're our most powerful tool for reversing wrinkles and other existing signs of aging. Research shows that prescription strength retinoids like Tretinoin can reduce wrinkle depth by about 20% after six months. They have this softening effect by encouraging skin cell turnover and promoting collagen production. Now over the counter retinoids like retinol serums or night creams are less potent but still worthwhile. Data shows that they can reduce wrinkles by about 10% after the same six month time frame. Over the counter retinoids are also generally less irritating than prescription strength ones. So retinoids can reduce your wrinkles by 10 to 20% depending on which type you use. Now that might not sound like a lot but it is enough to make someone look visibly younger. But can any foods match this reduction? The short answer is yes. Yes, they can. So let's look at some data. First up is dark chocolate. One gold standard trial showed that drinking a high flavanol cocoa beverage daily reduced wrinkles by 8.7% in six months. 8.7%, that's almost as potent as an over-the-counter retinol. And funnily enough, because all the women in this trial were essentially drinking a delicious hot chocolate every day, they had no problem sticking with it. Next up is fiber. Another gold standard trial showed that when people consumed a special type of fiber daily, their wrinkle area reduced by 12.2% in three months. Now they use supplemental fiber in the study just to keep it simple, but you can find this amount and type of fiber in about half a can of chickpeas or half a can of butter beans or lima beans. Next up is almonds. Another randomized control study showed that when women ate two large handfuls of raw unsalted almonds daily, their wrinkle severity reduced by 16% after six months. And interestingly, pigmentation also went down by 20% and pigmentation is another skin concern that is addressed by retinoids. And lastly, we have mango. Another randomized study showed that when women ate half a cup of mango four times a week, their wrinkle severity reduced by 20% after three months. There is a twist to this though, because if the women ate one and a half cups of mango four times a week, their wrinkles actually went up. And that's probably because at a certain point, the sugar in the mango starts to outweigh the benefit of all the other skin supporting nutrients. So to recap, retinoids can reduce wrinkles by 10 to 20%. Looking at our data here, the right food in the right quantity can reduce wrinkles by 8 to 20% in the same time frame. I'm going to say that again. The right foods in the right quantities can reduce wrinkles by up to 20%. Now, we do need to be aware that not all researchers measure wrinkles the same way. For example, tretinoin studies might measure wrinkle depth using skin replicas, while mango studies might use imaging for eye wrinkles. So it's not exactly comparing apples for apples, but it still gives us a good steer. And anyway, these are just the foods that we have specific figures for. Other foods which have been associated with a significant reduction in wrinkles include omega-3 fats, which are found in things like fatty fish and also nuts and seeds and also green and yellow vegetables and other foods like tomato paste and olive oil and green tea have been shown to significantly reduce sun damage which is ultimately going to mean fewer wrinkles over the longer term so you can have foods working at it from both angles reducing the wrinkles you already have and preventing the development of new ones and these are all just the whole foods i haven't even included supplements in this and there are a whole bunch of those that can reduce wrinkles. One example is collagen peptides which can reduce wrinkle parameters by up to about 19%. The bottom line 
we have a lot of data showing that eating the right things can help to reduce wrinkles. So, should you throw out that retinoid? Before you go and throw out all your skincare, we need to take a little step back here. A lot of this research is high quality, but there are important limitations. Firstly, a lot of this research is conducted in postmenopausal women. So if you're in that bracket, great, go and eat some mango. If you're not a postmenopausal woman, it doesn't mean that the results don't apply to you. It just means that they might not be quite so dramatic and measurable in different and more diverse populations. But the general principles still absolutely hold. And secondly, comparing these statistics is useful and it's certainly interesting, but it's not precise. As I mentioned, annoyingly, researchers don't all use the same way to measure wrinkles. Some look at depth, others at area, others at length, and some use 3D imaging to measure them, and others will use silicone replicas of the face. So we can't directly compare them. That being said, these numbers do give us a ballpark, and they show us that like retinoids, consistently eating the right thing can visibly and measurably reduce wrinkles. If you need more convincing, this is a before and after shot from the fiber study that I mentioned. It's not just dermatologists with fancy measuring tools. You can see with your naked eye that this skin is visibly smoother and plumper. And who doesn't want that? It's also worth bearing in mind that what you eat will affect the skin all over your body. So while you might apply a retinoid just to your face, the food that you eat can address signs of aging elsewhere, like your neck, your chest, the backs of your arms, and all those other places that begin to bother us as we get older. So what does this all mean for you in practice? Here's how we can make the most of this science in our everyday lives. Number one, eat colorful fruits and vegetables daily, particularly green and yellow fruits and vegetables. Things like dark leafy greens and broccoli and squash and, you know, a bit of mango. These are rich in vitamin C, which supports your collagen production, plus they contain special plant compounds that help to protect your skin against sun damage, all of which means fewer wrinkles. And as an added bonus, fruits and vegetables also give you a literal natural glow, and I talk more about that in this video. As a rule of thumb, if you can eat a fruit or a vegetable, even just a tiny portion with every meal or snack, you're doing brilliantly. Number two, eat a couple of handfuls of nuts and seeds a day, preferably raw and unsalted ones. As we've seen, almonds are a great choice, but so are things like wool nuts and pecans and sunflower seeds. As we saw in the almond study, these can help to reduce wrinkles because they're rich in skin supporting vitamin E, plus they contain the healthy fat that literally builds up your skin barrier. Now, if you're worried about nuts and seeds being calorific, you should know that research consistently shows that eating nuts and seeds helps people to maintain a healthy weight. And that's probably because they're really filling and really satisfying. Number three, eat a cup of pulses and legumes a few times a week. That's things like chickpeas or garbanzo beans, navy beans, butter beans or lima beans, and also kidney beans. These contain that special type of fiber that plumps your skin from the inside out. It works by feeding the good bacteria in your gut, which then helps to reduce inflammation and boost your skin's hydration and elasticity. If you're not used to eating pulses and legumes, start slow, even with just a tablespoon a day, and then gradually work your way up so that you don't overwhelm your digestion. These are brilliantly versatile, so you can add them to soups, to stews, to salads, or to basically whatever you're already making. Number four is to eat a little dark chocolate daily. Your skin loves it. We don't need to justify that any further. And number five is to use the strongest retinoid that your skin can tolerate with ease. Yes, food can have a similar effect from the inside out, but if you can tackle it from both directions, why wouldn't you? I do this. I stick to these dietary tips and I also use a potent retinoid because I figure I may as well use more than one tool at my disposal. If you want to learn a little bit more about the different forms of retinoids and how to choose the best one for your skin, I go into a lot more detail on that in this video. If you've tried retinoids and you just can't get on with them and you think they're not for you, you might want to check out this video. In that video, I talk about why your skin isn't necessarily the issue and what you can do to increase your tolerance to retinoids. So, if you're using retinoids, keep going. And if you're not eating to support your skin, start 
now. The best skin results come from the outside in and the inside out. If you would like a done for you guide putting all of this together, check out my Age Beautifully guide and I will pop that link in the video description box below for you. And if you enjoyed this, you'll like another video I've done on the anti-aging diet, which I'll pop there for you. I hope to see you again, so please consider subscribing and thank you for watching until the very end.